Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kelvin here. So recently, SSP has become a hot topic. Maybe it's due to the high yield, maybe it's due to everyone talking about it. Whatever the case, SSP is definitely getting super popular now. But did you know that besides SSP, there are also two more types of government bonds that you can buy? And that is Singapore Government Securities and Treasury Bills. So the question is, SSP, SGS or T-Bills, which is better? Actually, there's no why not all because there can only be one winner. In this video, I will compare between the three types of bonds to show you what are the differences between the three. Then, if you do decide to get them, I will also give a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to buy them. As usual, before I start, I would greatly appreciate it if you can help to tap the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. In return, I will show you a bunch of kittens in a box. Alright, let's start right now. All three bonds are fully backed by the Singapore government. And the government has received AAA ratings from multiple credit rating agencies. So if you put in $1,000, after the bond matures, you will expect to get back $1,000 plus whatever interest that you have earned. In other words, your money is super safe yeah, unless there's World War III or Singapore gets invaded. Then there's a different story altogether. Okay, I will introduce the three bonds starting with SSB. Most of us are already familiar with SSB, a bond that matures in 10 years. SSB lets you invest as little as $500 up to a maximum of 200 k Interest is paid out every 6 months. However, the yield is different every year. Like for this SSB, the interest starts at 2.6%, then it slowly goes up to 2.99%. The special thing about SSB is you can redeem and get back the money anytime with no penalty at all. The only fee that you have to pay is just a $2 transaction fee. So that's SSB, but not many people know that SSB interest rates actually come from SGS. So let's talk about SGS next. Similar to SSB, SGS is issued every month, but each issue will have different years to maturity where it can range anywhere from 2 years all the way to 50 years. Each issue will have different objectives. The most common one is market development, where it's being used to develop the domestic debt market, infrastructure, where it's being used to finance infrastructure projects, and a recently launched Green SGS, which is being used to finance green infrastructure projects. So, for example, for the upcoming issue, it's a 30-year SGS, which is being used to finance infrastructure projects. For SGS, the minimum investment amount is $1,000. As for the maximum, technically, there's a limit to how much you can apply, but the limit is usually super duper high. Like for the August issue, the amount allotted is $3 billion. So most people won't be able to max it out unless you are a rich Saudi prince. Similar to SSB, SGS interest is paid out every 6 months, but there are a few differences. First, that yield is fixed throughout the entire period. So, for example, if you got it at a 3% yield, every year you keep receiving a 3% yield. Second, unlike SSB, you can't redeem SGS before it matures. If you still want to get back your money, can is can, you will need to sell it on the open market. Check this out. Trading volume is mostly zero, meaning there's basically no one trading SGS. And the big ask spread is very wide, meaning if you do decide to sell, chances are you will get low bought, like what usually happens on carousel. Third, while SSB only lets you invest via cash and SRS, for SGS, you can also invest using CPF. So that's good. As for how SSB yields are related to SGS, Basically, they take the SGS 2-year, 5-year, and 10-year previous month use, plug in this super complicated formula, then boom, they come out with SSB use. If you're interested to know more, you can check out this video here. So that's SGS. The next bond is called T-Bills or Treasury Bills. 1K minimum investment, able to buy with cash, SRS, and CPF, and there's no early redemption. Then you'll be like, eh, 
Is it just me or is T-Bills similar to SGS? Yes, it's not just your imagination. T-Bills is basically just SGS, but a short-term version of it, where the maturity is either 6 months or 1 year. So then, why did they decide to make a different version? Is it because they eat fufu, nothing better to do? Yes, actually, just kidding. There's a reason for that. The biggest difference is that for T-Bills, there's no interest payments. Instead of interest payments, the bond is issued to you at a discount. For example, if the yield is 2% and you are investing $1,000, what happens is that after you successfully get your bond, they will give you back 2% or $20. Then, upon maturity, you will get back the face value or in this case, you will get back $1,000. So, that's the difference between T-Bills and SGS. While SGS pays you interest every 6 months, T-Bills pays you interest by giving you a discount at the start, then returning the face value back to you at the end. MAS has this super useful table that summarizes everything that I mentioned just now. I will link it down in the description for you to check it out. In summary, SGS is a long-term bond, T-Bill short-term bond, and SSB is basically a beginner-friendly version of both bonds. Quick pause, here's a quick message from today's sponsor, Weboo. If you trade options frequently, you'll be glad to know that Weboo has added stop order and stop limit order so that you can protect your downside while trading options. Also, they have just upgraded their sign up rewards even more. This time, it's $130 worth of free Tesla shares and a free grab voucher worth $10. All you need to do is deposit at least 2,000 SGD into Weboo, make one buy trade on an US stock or ETF, make another buy trade on one US option while maintaining 2,000 SGD net account value for that 30 days and you will receive all your free rewards. So, if you are interested, you can sign up with my link down below. With that being said, let's get back to the video. So, which should you invest in? For most people, SSV is the best choice. The $500 minimum amount means that even if you don't have a lot of money, you can still invest in SSV. SSV also lets you redeem anytime you want with totally no penalty at all. So technically, you can park some of your savings in SSB to earn a higher interest. And if you need the money, you can just redeem and get back the money within one month. That's because if you apply any time from the first business day to the fourth last business day of the month, you will get back the money by the second business day of the following month. So then, when is T-Bill or SGS better? Here are a few reasons as to when they are better. First, unlimited investment amount. For SSP, you can only invest up to 200k and you can't invest anything more than that. Each issue has a limited amount, so you'll be competing with other people to get it. If the demand is too high, everyone will end up getting a smaller amount. For example, for the previous month issue, the limit is 13k. Some lucky ones got 13.5k. Anything more than that will be refunded back to you. On the other hand, for T-Bills and SGS, because the limit is so high, it's almost impossible to reach it. This means if you want to invest a lot of money, T-Bills and SGS would be more suitable for you. Second, purpose for investing. Yes, yes, I know that the purpose is to earn money. But as to why you should choose between them, the answer is quite simple. When do you need the money? Choose T-Bills if you need the money back within 6 months or 1 year. A use case of this is, maybe you are saving money to buy a house next year. You can't invest the money because you might lose it in a market crash. At the same time, putting the money in the bank is a bad idea because the interest is super low. Hence, the best way is to park it in something short term, like T-Bills or SSB. Only go for SGS if you donate the money in the next 2 to 50 years because once you have the bonds, you will keep receiving a steady POM PP interest all the way to maturity. Only downside is that if you decide to get back your money, you might be forced to sell at a loss. So that's how to decide which bonds to invest in. If you want to buy SSB, you can check out this tutorial on how to do that. For this video, I will show you how to buy SGS and T-Bills. To start, you will need to be at least 18 years old 
because that's the minimum age to apply for a CDP account. After applying, you can expect approval within 10 business days. After that, you can apply through DBS, POSB, or OCBC, or UB ATMs, or internet banking. If you do decide to buy with CPF money, you will need to submit an application in person at the bank's physical branch. So it's a bit troublesome, yeah? As to when you can apply, you will need to check the issuance calendar for the dates. Okay, let me just quickly show you how to apply via internet banking. If you're using POSB, go to Invest Singapore Government Securities, choose T-Bill to apply for T-Bill, or choose Bond to apply for SGS Bond. Choose the Bond, then next, choose your nationality, whether you want to pay by cash or SRS, then fill in your CDP account number. Here, you will see competitive or non-competitive bid. Basically, think of it like limit order versus market order. If you have a yield that you want, go for competitive bid. But for most people, just choose non-competitive bid. Enter in the amount that you want. You can only apply in multiples of a thousand. So let's try $1,000. Choose your account, there will be $2 service charge. Once everything is okay, click next. Check everything is all right, then submit. Next, if you are using UOB, it's also super easy. On the left side, go to investment, click IPO, bonds, T-bills, choose SGS bond or T-bill depending on which you want to apply, click transact. Then just fill in your info here. Finally, for OCBC, go to investments and insurance, click Singapore Government Securities, then choose either SGS bonds or T-bills. Then fill in the info as per normal. After applying, if you want to check whether you are successful or not, for T-bills after the market closes, you will receive a discount refund back to your bank account. Then a few days later, you'll be able to see the result via your CDP account. So that's how to buy SGS and T-bills. Hopefully, you find this video useful. Like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.